bless, we're striking for the guys and the, and the firefighters for the future. Uh, because the pension means they're going to have to work for their uh, 60 now. And if they can't reach uh, the fitness standard, they could face uh, being sacked or having a, a, a very big redu reduction in their pension. It's not fair. Firefighters do a dangerous job. They deserve recognition. We pay, we pay over 200 to 300 pound a month in pension contributions. It is a good pension, but we do pay for it. Hey, I'm Phil Jordan. I'm a firefighter in Gloucestershire, and I'm based at Sirencester. Do I support the firemen? Oh yes, most assuredly. Firemen you need. TV celebrities you don't. Hey, I live in Stroud and I support the fire strike. David Drew, Labour and Cooperative, prospective parliamentary candidate for Stroud, totally in support of the FBU. I think they've been abysmally treated. And I don't understand why at this stage the government doesn't just settle. I'm Laura and I live in Stroud and I support the fire strike. Jeff Close, resident of Stroud. But I see firefighting as mutualism. It's us looking after ourselves. It's us looking after us. And um, they're skilled, dedicated persons. Um, I'm in favour of getting a rise. I'm in favour of the strike. I'm Anna Banalek. I am agent for Stroud parliamentary candidate for the Green Party, Christopher Jockel. I'm totally in support of the strike action and hope that firefighters in England get the same deal as their peers in the rest of the UK. Hi, I'm Sue and I support the fire strike. I'm Alex from Stroud and I support the fire strike. Hi, I'm Hannah Basson. Um, I'm a coordinator for Stroud Against the Cuts. I work for the NHS and I'm the equalities officer for the Gloucester Health Branch for Unite the Union. We will be supporting the Fire Brigade Union in their strike action and NHS workers will also be striking later on this month over similar issues to changes to pay. We're from Stroud and we support the firefighters strike. I'm James Beecher, I'm a volunteer coordinator of Stroud Against Cuts and a member of the Solidarity Federation. And I think we need a good fire and rescue service and I think that having a good fire and rescue service means we need to uh, treat fire and rescue workers properly. That means paying them properly, it means giving them decent terms and conditions, and it means ensuring that they have a proper pension so that when they retire they can be comfortable. The old trade union motto that an injury to one is an injury to all is true, and that if pensions in the fire service are attacked, that won't be just be a detriment to workers in the fire and rescue service, but it will be a detriment to the service itself, and that will affect all of us. Not only will it make the service worse in the present, but by cutting pensions and cutting the number of staff working in the fire service through kind of forcing redundancies through the fitness tests, that will make the service more attractive to private companies that want to take it over and make a profit out of it. And that will, of course, bring all sorts of other negative consequences. And it also affects all of us in terms of the, the work that we do. When the government attacks uh, fire and rescue workers, if they win, then it will make it that much harder for all of us to stand up and defend our pay, our terms and conditions, our pensions. So the attack on um, the pensions of fire and rescue workers affects people in both the public and the private sector. It might be your local fireman now, but it could be your family, your friends, or you that's next. Some people worry about strike action. They see the temporary effect on the provision of a service, but it's actually a really useful tool for depend defending that service in the long term. As workers, the people who allow society to function, withdrawing our labor, and stopping that society from functioning for a bit is a very powerful way of sending a message. That's why Stroud Against the Cuts is supporting not just the strike action that took place recently by the Fire Brigade Union, but further strike action by that union and the strike action that's scheduled to happen on November 24th with members of the GMB, Unite the Union, Unison, the Royal College of Midwives and other workers in the NHS coming out. Please support them by popping along to their local picket line, perhaps with a packet of biscuits or something, show your support. 
For more information, you can see strideagainstcuts.co.uk. Our message to anybody that works in a workplace is to join a trade union, become active and actually take some responsibility for maintaining and improving your paying conditions because nobody else will do it for you. Stay together, stay strong, join a union. If people want more information if they look at the Fire Brigade Union website and um, if you're passionate about this issue we'd encourage people to lobby their local MP uh, or councillor and ask them why they think it's acceptable that firefighters in England should get a worse pension than those in other parts of the United Kingdom.